just check that audio okay guys jh welcome back okay mr x has turned up now mr x has had sort of a bit of a, a breakthrough in the last couple of days he's hitting the ball unbelievably and i think i said to you guys his, his swing has got very compact he's gone away from the high hands and and the little bit of the zorro that he used to get when he was away and he looks like he's punching the ball now but he's just punching it like you wouldn't believe and the ball flight's fantastic so i'll let you just let him just tell you what he's been doing how are you mr x uh, good thanks jh um basically basically i am um, trying to get a lot of containment i mean you tried to you tried to get me to do this a long time ago and i, I just didn't quite understand it fully um and now i do um i feel like everything is on my body both elbows feel like they're on my body um, my swing is keeping everything low to the ground pushing down and never never letting my elbow off my stomach so when you when you say you, your arms are connected to your body the pressure point is from here to here on in, my in this arm yeah yep, from my elbow to my uh, shoulder joint yeah is is you know as hard as it can be against my well you said the other body. day you could crush a walnut I could crush yeah. walnuts under there yeah my elbow is so from my same deal from my joint to my shoulder on the right hand side is glued there um, the backswing they never move they never they never leave my side as a feeling as yeah. a feeling yeah on the way through they they loosen up a little bit yeah yeah well the velocity is going to do that Pulls that, that that's that that that's just called escape velocity it's going to want to escape from containment um, my swing is probably what well, feels about half to maybe three quarters of the length it was yeah it is um, and I'm about 20 yards longer on most irons. yeah it just ridiculous the irons the irons yesterday were just off the scale I just kept asking him what have you changed irons he said no no it was just he was just it was like full club and a half longer weren't it? it was just crazy stuff so the story there guys the reason that happens is that's efficiency he's brought his efficiency up he's brought his line of compression up uh, much higher and so the delivery of the club to the ball is just a bet pre better previously i was i felt more comfortable away from my body with my arms yep. my arms felt yep. always out here and the driver was out here yeah um, but now i feel like i'm on top of the ball like the ball is just not far off my right toe as opposed to being out away from me well well god before when i was doing another video he was over there and he was pitching some balls up our fence line over there and the balls are still over there they're in what eight foot circle yeah, eight foot circle he's most. pitching from a hundred back there they're in an eight foot circle now the only way that mr x would have ever got those in eight foot circles he would have had to go out and pour them out of a bucket there but exactly. that they're just spectacular i mean that is that is mo norman type grouping over there and tell them what you're doing with your pitching uh, same, same thing, the elbow, elbows, everything's tied in beside me. Um, it all goes around behind me, low, low hands, like the club barely, barely gets off the ground. I stop here and then regroup and come through. Okay, you have to explain the regroup. The re so, regroup is just basically a pause, uh, okay. like a, the ready code. Okay. And, and starting down, because I, I want to, I know I question him, people say, like, well, you, you, you give him the third degree. But... A lot of people don't understand what we feel okay. and, and you've got to feel there when you're starting down now you feel it very much like it's a body pivot and the arms are connected and you just it's a tummy tummy turn just turning with the tummy yeah everything everything is fixed all yeah. my my radiuses are all fixed this is against my body this is against my body i can only go one way so i could stand there all day and and come back to the ball yeah there's no, if I was out here trying to do that, yeah. imagine trying to start from there, your brain goes, well, the ball's over there. Yeah. yeah. Your hands but, get involved. But well, you've got to, you've got to, because you're so close now with your arm here, yep. you're in what I call a very early channel, because now you're really doing this. You're almost just... Well, if, if your elbow's on, on your ribs, turn. Turn your body now. Yeah. Yeah, well, the club well, can't get away, can the it? The club goes in. Yeah. Yeah, it can't go anywhere, guys. It's only when it's out here that it gets out of that channel. I initially, I initially with the channel lock, I was starting by pulling the hands back into the, and my elbow, as you can see, yep. there's a gap, gap here in my elbow. Yeah. Now, if I've, I've put that elbow onto the stomach and just turn, there's a perfect radius there. There's no, 
no gap in here. You can't no. see daylight there. No, no. And if I continue that, continue on with it, it's perfectly on plane. I don't have to get any higher. No, than that. no, no. There's no. And and so you're getting back to there. You've got the pressure down, the pressure load down. You're getting back. Then you just this 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 forearm is just F folding up. Folds up on its own. Yeah. yeah just a bicep curl, guys. That's so all. As long as you don't do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and you've still got your cups up, haven't you? Yeah. The cups are very important for Mr. X. Um, the, the other thing is my my swing feels very compact now. I, I don't feel. Oh, mate, it looks loose, it looks compact. Goosey. That's what we were saying yesterday. Your shots look like they're they're punch shots. I mean, you're hitting. Um, and and basically, yeah. I, I was just looking for a little bit more consistency, um, and this this has brought it brought it to me. Yeah. Basically. All right. Well, you, you know you're. Um, You've given us the talk. Let's see the walk. <laughs> huh? Let's see the the walk. And guys, we're terrible. Mr. X said to me, "Why would you set it up here, JH?" I said, "Because the sun's in the right place." Let let me check you. Yeah, that's perfect. That's dead dead center frame. You can go either way a foot if you want to. I want to feel like I'm up against myself, and I don't leave. My arms don't leave my side okay. at all. So the swing will look very short and compact. The hands will be low. We'll see how we go. Well, that, apart from those few pitches he hit over there, that's the first full shot today. And he was aiming at the red car up here. And you know, if the window was down, it would have went in the window. That was good. Now that'll be interesting to see that, guys. You'll see how compact his swing is looking. A lot, a lot of people on, on the internet talk about um, staying connected. But yeah, but but what? But one connected. man's connection is not another man's connection. No. We all feel. Some some people might, might 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 feel like they've got their wrists together and their forearms together. Yep. Other people feel that it is really in the in the armpits. Yep. But I I feel it in the armpits and down the rib cage. Yep. And I do try and jam that. That elbow in, no question about that. Okay. I can't believe how warm it is. When I came here, it was cold. I can't take my jumper off now because I've got the audio on. Yeah, like the gra <laughs> It's just. There's nothing to hit. Yeah, off. it's just rough. Yeah. Nothing to hit off. That's all right. Yeah, try 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 okay. and knock that 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 sign out. That 240 sign. It's not 240 okay. from here, but. Full but connection, and we want to stay low. Full connection, low to the ground. And don't try to pick the club up. So have you have you got a definite pressure down with your hands? Well, I just don't have a pressure up. Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's perfect. Um, yeah, that's a good answer. That's a very good answer. I don't have a pressure up as such. Okay. The club will come up slightly. Oh. Well, there's a sign up here that's got a big two, a four, and a zero. And I said aim at the two forty sign. Well, that if it could have reached it, it would have knocked the centre out of the four. I mean, that's just crazy. Crazy. And that ball fell into a hole just before you hit it. I, I it. saw that. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it, is a, it is a very strange feeling. When, when you've first done the first couple of swings, you'll feel it really strange. You'll go, well, the club can't get back to the ball. Yeah. But in actual fact... Okay, okay, explain that. Why would you think it can't get... Because well, it's so deep? Because it's so far behind you. And it's not very high. It okay. feels like it's only about, you know, chest high. Yeah. Um, and of course, when it's only that high, what you have to do is resist the urge to think because it's not high, you're not generating any speed. Exactly. And but it's the fit while it's just. They're on plane and they're, they're, they've got every bit of speed. Oh, it's fantastic. That, that's, that, that's longer than you've ever, you've ever hit that iron. Well, guys, they're just three you know, blueprinted golf shots, aren't they? And and what it does look like to me, and I'll have a look at it on video, but it looks so. It does look connected. It looks slow, and it looks it looks just just like a reduced golf swing. Mm. Now, just hit a few little pitches like you were hitting okay. over there. Just grab my so, yeah, just go and get your wedge and just hit a few, because guys, he 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 was just. If you could see that grouping of balls over there. From a hundred, I mean, it's 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 an eight-foot circle. 
And that's never been your forte, has it? No, I, I always had trouble. I was good once I got onto the green, but getting on from around the green yeah, was difficult. Yeah, but it was that, that long journey getting there. <laughs> yes. Okay, we'll just pitch this one. Yeah, 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 just, 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 yeah. We'll just aim it at the tree in terms of a line. But, but watch how connected this is, guys. That's a good thing about channel lock. I mean, you can, you can just thin that a little bit. Now, what I saw there, and we're probably talking a lot, but, you, but, I, but I just saw that connection go away and I saw this. Yep. Right? So that connection's got to stay there. But I mean, it still would have been on the green. That's the good thing about channel lock. You don't, there's no bloopers. Five o'clock nose. Oh, that's perfect. Yep. Okay, that, that's almost a ready, so that is a ready code, on, isn't it? On, on camera, it probably looks really, really long way behind me, which it doesn't feel that once you start doing it. It, it, it just, it's just following the path that's provided for it. And that's what it should. There's there's no independent hand action there, which is what we what we don't want. I'm just having yeah. trouble with this grass. Well, mate, just 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 get a just get a decent line. Just just get a tight line here. Yeah, and anywhere here, something like that. Yeah. It's so hard. Really, five o'clock nose. Okay, we we'll just want to hit about six of those while you've got that tempo. Just give yourself a good line. It's terrible over here, guys. I mean, people are used to hitting off good lies, hate it, but I'm used to hitting out of bad lies, so it never worries me. Going to five o'clock nose. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that, um... A little yeah. pause there? A little... Yeah, a little one, yeah, yeah. Okay, see where you want to hit the ball? Try and hit it in that group of balls that you just hit. So even those ones that you, that, that you hit a little bit thin, I mean, they're still in the group. That's the good thing about it. Oh, that, that's a big pause, that. Do you, do, would, you, would you have that much pause? Um, probably not. No, I'd probably have a little bit less than that. Yeah. Just gives you a little bit too much time if you if you hang back there too long. Yeah. You get too many things happening. Yeah, I couldn't do it. with my 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 metabolism. I don't think I could do that. Uh, you want to hit a drive or? Yeah, just hit a couple of drives. Yeah, yeah. You got some teas? Oh, there, there's um. Oh, yeah, it's a couple here. Yeah, this will be good, guys, because you all know how long Mr. X's normal swing is. Well, I think it's. I think it's you know it's shorter. Don't hit the horse up there. It's a girl riding a horse up there. She's about three fifty. Yeah. You don't think you get there? No. Not today. Five o'clock nose. Still in the air, still in the air, still in the air, still in the air. Didn't think it was going to come down. That's up near the back fence. Did you see where that landed? That's yeah. near the back fence. That stayed near a long time ago. You have it? a little bit more pressure down. Yeah, and long more long five o'clock nose, yeah. Absolutely more five o'clock nose. But I mean, that's just right in the ballpark. On, on the golf course, that's, that's what, about eight yards left of centre. Five o'clock nose. A lot of speed there off a little um off a little swing. Okay now just, just give yourself a couple of glances at the target to set soften your shoulders and your neck a little bit, just and then and then get ready to go. That was just a little jumpy. And when he gets jumpy, he gets a really hard power draw. 
still a good shot, but it's just a real hard power draw. That's perfect there. How'd you like to hit that shot all the time? Unless it's a dead straight golf shot. A little bit more relaxed. With that oh, one. yeah, it's a good shot. Yeah, just hit one more. That was a great shot, that. That was a beauty, as you know, we say. No, I still get the camera shakes. Yeah, I know, yeah. No, this, it's amazing to uh, to get Mr. X on camera. I mean, it, you know, he just wouldn't go near it. He used to run and hide under the car. <laughs> okay, you know, see your target, just soften it up. Looking at that target softens the neck and the head up. Okay, now real big five o'clock nose. Oh, it's perfect. I tell you what it does. That, that that connection. Okay, that swings a little bit longer today than it was yesterday, but you know I, I think that you're just generating so much coil now. It's just going back so good. Yep. But I mean that's a perfect golf shot. And of course, yeah. Mr. X's standard shot was always a real hard power draw. He's always had that with everything. There's none of that in that shot. I mean that's just a perfectly. It's just a straight shot, isn't it? It was, it was probably even just a half a yard. Yeah, yeah fade if anything. Fade. Well, just not not even a fade, just a leak. Just hit another one of those. It just goes out there, falls out of momentum, just falls off to the right. Which is really nice. I like that. Okay, last shot. Really stay connected. Aim it at the tree. Try and try and hit the tree. Perfect shot that. Perfect shot. Well that is a fade. That that's a rarity for you. That's about a one yard fade. Well, I can't get the club to go left from yeah. here. Yeah. From here, you, you're connected. The club, unless you purposely do something yeah. drastic, yeah. Yeah. the club is always going to be square to the target line. Well, while we're on that, now guys, you know, when, when, when he just said, well, if you do something, a lot of people think that's a release. I don't, I don't release the club that way. I release the club that way. I want it going past my forearm. And that's what I say. Our hands go out. You know, our hands and arms go out that way, but the club face goes that way. It doesn't roll release. It just the hands go out there and the club goes here. It doesn't do that, but that's the feeling. Arms and hands go out there, club face goes there, and it's just perpendicular. It's not toe down, it's not heel up, and it's not toe roll over. Okay, Mr. X, thanks for that. I just thought it was good to, to get some feedback from from him today. Okay.